What's up guys, hope you're doing well. I'm happy that it's Saturday. Here we go with our training plan. Reminder that the warm up is posted in a separate link at the top of today's program. Let's dive into our strength. You have a lot of input in today's strength in determining how you'll set this up and how this will go. The goal is to go on a four to 800 meter weighted walk. That should have you moving briskly in a walking fashion for somewhere between four to six minutes. It's about the sweet spot. Now you can carry your single dumbbell kettlebell or you can grab something from your house or garage. That could be something like a bag of dog food. You want something that's challenging to carry, but you feel like you can carry it consistently with good posture and good quality without having to set it down to take a break during that four to 800 meters. So grab something heavy, take off on a brisk walk. Let's dive into your workout. So this is gonna be a deck of cards workout. Ideally, this is done with two to three people, virtually if needed. Encourage you guys to FaceTime, to get on Zoom together, do what you need to do to share this experience with someone else. Now, if you have to do it solo, no worries. Still a great workout, it's just not quite as fun as sharing the experience with another person. So there's multiple ways that this can be done. First of all, the time component. You can do this as a deck of cards for time, meaning you're gonna work through the entire deck, all 52 cards, as quickly as you can. The second way to do it is to set the clock for 25 minutes and to get through as many cards as you possibly can. Uh, if you are working with two to three other people, you're doing this in a team style format, there's a couple ways that you guys can manage this. You can either uh, do every card, meaning that you're gonna draw a card and then every person does that movement, draw another card, every person does that movement, or you can take turns, meaning you draw a card, you do the movement. Then partner two draws a card, they do that movement. Partner three draws a card, they do that movement. It ends up being a rest work style interval. You choose the setup on how you would like to do the workout. All right, so you have a lot of input on how this workout is set up today as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna assign a movement to each suit. I've given you the type of movement or the movement pattern that goes with each one. So for diamonds, you're gonna choose something that is a push style movement. So that is gonna be body weight, push-ups, handstand push-ups, dips, a unique style push-up, like we've been doing in class in some way, push-up to knee drive, single leg push-up. You choose some type of upper body push to call for those diamonds. For hearts, you're gonna choose a lunge. So you're gonna be creative here, step back lunge, a walking lunge, an odd object lunge. Maybe you're holding something. Maybe it's a curtsy lunge. Be creative, choose some type of lunge for your heart movement. For spades, you're gonna choose a plyo. This is some type of jumping movement. Think about a lot of the plyometrics we've been doing in the home base workouts. A tuck jump, a broad jump, a box jump, a sprawl to lateral jump. A be creative, find something that you can have fun with. And finally, for clubs, we wanna choose a trunk or a core movement. This can be something like sit-ups, Russian twist, something a little bit more spicy like the shoot through. Uh, think about something that trains your core, be creative. And finally, for jokers, we want an evil punishment for jokers. So something like burpees, running, bear crawl, and you're gonna assign the level of punishment here. So is a joker gonna be 10 burpees? Is a joker gonna be 20 burpees? Is a joker gonna be a 400 meter run? A 100 foot bear crawl? Make it enough to where it is a little bit of a punishment and you really don't wanna draw that joker. All right, so now that you've got all your movements designated for each suit and your jokers, you're gonna start your game. So now when you draw a card, whatever number is on that card, that designates how many reps you do of that movement. So for instance, if I choose diamonds as being push-ups, I draw the seven of diamonds. Now I'm responsible for doing seven push-ups or everyone is responsible for doing seven push-ups depending on how you're setting up your game. 
All right. Now the uh, face cards, the jacks, the queens, the kings are 10 repetitions. And the aces, you guys can either do those as one or 11. It kind of depends on how spicy you want to make your game, your choice. All right, so I want to know how you guys are setting this up. Let's make this fun. Let's see how creative you can be. So I want to see you guys post your pictures of your setup. What are your hearts? What are your clubs? What movements did you choose? How did you set it up? What was your joker's punishment? Who are you doing the workout with? Let's share this experience with one another um, and have a fun Saturday workout. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. See ya.